So, I know this has been out for a little bit, but kind of like the whole announcement of uh, who uh, who Dobby really was, like, that news came out and, like, um, basically, like, Do uh, like, finding out Dobby was Shocker, Todoroki's older brother, this whole time, and, like, yeah, it, it's been out for a little bit, but I figured I'd talk about the um, news that came out of MHA, because it's a plot thread that we've long... Another plot thread we've long waited to see and, like, long waited to hear, like, um... Uh... Like, what this is. Like, we've long waited to see this uh, this spoiler, like, this plot thread finally get tied up. Like, this is something we've kind of waited for for a long time. And that plot thread is none other than, um... Who is the traitor of UA? Like, who is the tra uh, the traitor among the heroes? And it looks like we got our answer. Now, keep in mind, there is uh, there is a lot of um, the speculations and theories that it may not be this person. It could be a few things. We'll get into that in a moment. But for those who don't want to get spoiled as to who the traitor is, I even put up a not this person. It's not Bakugo, so everyone chill out. It's not Bakugo. But I'm giving you an out real quick to... Um, give you a moment to find out spoilers, or if you don't want to be spoiled, get out now. Okay, you still here? It's Aoyama. Aoyama. Um, I, oh, I'm so bad at pronouncing his name. Um, yeah, old Belly Beam himself. That's the traitor. You'd think it'd be, everyone was betting Hagakure because she's the invisible girl. Um, yeah, and Hagakure would make a lot of sense. She's invisible, and she could just sneak in whenever. Um, and logically, that would make a lot of sense. But uh, but Aoyama is a character, like, we haven't really gotten a lot of, like, um, development with. He's just been kind of like a fun side character. And it's like, it's usually, like, he's the least suspect... It's kind of like, it's actually, like, it reminds me a lot of um, Armageddon 2001. This horrible DC event. And I'll, for those who are unaware, I will dive into this real quick. Armageddon 2001 was basically an event, quote-unquote event, where a character named Wave Rider was trying to went back to the f past to find out which superhero killed all the other heroes and um, became the, this villain called the Monarch in the future. Not that Monarch, Venture Brothers fans. But basically, like, they went through and all the signs were pointing to Captain Adam. But then at the last second, something got spoiled, so they had to switch it to being Hawk from Hawk and Dove. Yeah. Disappointing. It's kind of like that. It feels like it's the last guy you didn't suspect, and you're like, really? Him? But on one hand, I'm not... This isn't, like, as bad as the, to, the Armageddon reveal. This is in no way as bad as that Armageddon reveal. But at the same time, it's like, really? Him? He's the traitor? Okay, I guess you didn't have anything else planned for him. So, yeah, Aoyama is revealed to be the traitor, which is a plot thread we all thought was forgotten. Like, when was the last time we talked about this traitor stuff? A while. Like, it was a legit, like, it was a it was a spell for a while until we could get the uh, traitor stuff up and running, right? Like, there was literally nothing. Like, there was... Um, not a lot of talk of who's the traitor, like, oh, who's the traitor going to be? And then, it's Aoyama. Yep. Now, again, like, this could, there is another chapter, and a lot of people have, like, thrown out the theory that maybe it's not Aoyama at all, maybe it's Toga, because as we're seeing in the art, he's crying, like, but at the same time, people have noted, it doesn't look like he's crying, it looks like his face is melting, kind of like Toga's quirk when she mimics somebody. So... There is the, it, it, depending on what happens in the next chapter, um, it could be Toga, it could be Toga who Im is impersonating him, but at the same time, like, I don't think that's, I, like, there's a part of me that's like, I don't think that's the case, I think he might be the legit traitor. So let's talk about this real quick. Let, let's talk about the effects of this being the tra of this person being the traitor. Now, you have to understand, we're living in an era in MHA universe where a lot, pro hero faith is at an all time low. And it dropped a lot after the whole reveal that Endeavor's eldest son turned out to be a goddamn psychopath at his hand. So that's going to drop morale. Now to find out that one of their own has betrayed the heroes and been a villain this whole time and, an, and a. Um, like an inside person for the Villain League. 
that's kind of like that's got to be like just devastating for the pro hero side and for the public in general where they've been like we've put all this faith in uh, in heroes and now we are standing on the precipice of just society hero society collapsing like stay like I imagine Stains like chilling somewhere and he's like ha, 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 I was right the whole time bitches um I just imagine Stain doing that, like just chilling in the back, like he's just like, um, he's just chilling somewhere, and he's just like, I was right, like now there's gonna be Stain was right T-shirts everywhere, um, or coffee mugs and shit. Just imagining that. Um, so we got, so there is that, you know, there is that little tidbit going on. Now the other thing I have to bring up is that what are the effects on everyone else? Aoyama was their friend. Like, Aoyama was a lot of, like, Deku and everyone else's friend. He's the one who really, like, opened the door for Uraraka to realize, oh, I really like Deku. Um, he, he, what's, who's really gonna be broken by this is Mina. Oh my god, poor Mina. She and him were, like, bros. Um, so I can't imagine how Ashida, you know, Mina's, Mina Ashida is going to, re like, Oh, it's gonna break her heart. I realized that. Like the moment that reveal that um that reveal happened, I was like, "Oh, poor Mina!" <laughs> like that was my first reaction. Was, "Oh no!" <laughs> so yeah. Now I'm curious to see like how like how are we going to see this play out? Like what is the story behind um. Aoyama being a villain. Like, was it planned? Was he always a villain? Because he does say, I've always been a villain at heart. So was he planted there from the beginning? Or was he, like, a gradual villain? Was it, like, a fall to the dark side? Um, was it something along those lines? There's so many questions now that kind of need to be answered, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are now, like, waiting in anticipated breath for the next chapter. Because I imagine, like, everyone's like, yeah, we kind of need answers right now, dude. We we need those answers, like, immediamente. Like, get on it. Because, um, yeah, this is, like, a lot of questions. Was he always a villain? Was he still a hero? Did the villains, like... Did Shigaraki and the other villains, like, get together and, like, Hey, man, you should join the villain. Like, were they secretly whispering in his ear, join us? Who know? Like, who knows? I'm curious about that. I'm like now. Now that we know who the traitor is, which thank God we have a goddamn answer. But at the same time, like, is anyone like again going back to Armageddon, where it was like it was all pointing to Captain Adam, and then it became Hawk at the last minute? Kind of feels like that, where it was like it's not so much it was meant to be one person, but then someone else. I feel like this was meant to like just wrap up a storyline that. Ru a rushed, sto like, r r quickly wrap up a storyline that's been kind of like, yeah, we forgot about this uh, this plot line. Like, we legit forgot about this plot line, so we gotta wrap this up real quick. Uh, excuse us real uh, real quick. It's, uh, it's, uh, Aoyama, yeah, Belly Beam, yeah, Belly Beam dude. He's, he's, Sparkles, Sparkles, he's the bad guy. He's, he, tra he traitor. He's the traitor. Go get him. So, yeah, I... <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm of two minds of this, so I am curious to see uh, see what you guys have to say about this one. Um, yeah, so comment below. Let me know what do you guys think of Aoyama being the traitor of uh, in My Hero Academia? Are you, is this something you wanted to see? Was it not? Was it um, was it like uh, a shock to you? Do you think he really is the traitor? Or do you think this is like a de or do you think it's like a fake out? And do you think he's the right choice to be the villain? And if so. Um, the he like, do you see him, like, how do you think he became a villain? Do you always think he was a villain, or do you think he fell from grace? There is so many questions right now. So, once again, uh, just comment below, let me know, and as always, if you haven't already, go check out my, uh, link in the description below to my Patreon. Uh, go check out my exclusive content there. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.